select the expressions that are equivalent to the expression below. And in fact, we have to select all the correct answers. So I have, it looks like six choices here as I try to scoot this down so you can see it all. But uh, let's start with just the basics here. I'm going to flip over to my notebook paper. And um, the first thing is the fact that when we're raising something to the one-third power, the same fraction, 375, divided by 343, but this 3 in the bottom of the fraction goes in the check mark part of the radical, the index, uh, but I mostly say check mark part of the radical. Um, and the thing about that one is, is we could write it in that format, but what this also means is we could break apart the fraction, and we could say this is the cubed root of 343, and now that we have those two choices, let's go back and look at the iPad here for a moment. And actually what I see is, is that the first one, that's our first conversion, and then a part is down here. And um, now that we know that, what that is, can we simplify this anymore? Because we've got that 5 sevenths as the third answer here. And we're going to use Desmos to help up with whether we can do anything more, whether there's another possible answer. So I want to remind you, and it's probably on my iPad already, and um, you can't see what I want you to see because I'm in the way, uh, but I'm scooting this over here for a second. Um, I was practicing before. When we type this in, we can type in 375, which now you can't see, but I typed in 375 to the, so I'm going to go A to the B, and then 1 divided by 3, that gives us long decimal. So we couldn't see it very well. Um, and then let's try 343 to the 1 divided by 3. And that's where I wanted you to be able to see the functions button because um, in uh, what we need to, if we go to function and then miscellaneous and this button right here, the nth root of, so the nth root of, we can type in the 3 and then arrow and then we can type the 375. Notice we get the same answer. We can do uh, functions in that button again. And do the 3 and 343 and again we get the 7. So hopefully I wasn't too confusing on Desmos but um, use Desmos. So what we found out here is that this bottom is 7. We still have the cubed root of 375 but we do have the 7 and if we go back, I don't think that that's going to help us necessarily, but if we go back and look at Edmentum, I know that the answer is not 5 sevenths because we couldn't simplify 375 to the one-third. And then it's not these two answers because we could simplify that bottom. So the only question is, is this second answer right here? Is that one of the answers? So to finish this problem, or at least check it, what we need to simplify is we need to simplify the cubed root of 375. And I do do this just slightly different than Adventum. Uh, but when we take a look at this, I'm going to divide 375 by 5. And I have done this ahead of time. But if you divide, we get 5 times 75. And then I'm going to break down 75, and it's 5 times 15. You could have used 25 times 3. 
15 is 5 times 3. And if we write that again, what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with the cubed root of 5 times 5 times 5 times 3. And because there's a 3 in this checkmark part of the radical, what we're looking for is we need 3 of 1. Well, we have 3 5s, so we're going to take out one of those 5s, and then we're left with the cube root. That's where I got the cube root, and then we have a single 3 here. So again, what we just simplified, we simplified the cube root of 375, and then we divided by 7. We had done that with Desmos, and then the way that it looks on Edmentum, I think is 5 sevenths times the root of 3. But let's pull that up here to look at that final answer here. And yes, there it is.